What's up everybody, it's Rick Wine here, and we are back with another LEGO City update here in Bricksville. This week in Bricksville we've done just a little bit of everything, kind of. We've done some detailing, we've done some additions to the city, we've done some scene work, we've done some minifig work. We've kind of really just touched on everything just a little bit. Now we have some good stuff to show you here, some new additions, uh, and just some detail on some things that we've changed this week. So let's go ahead and get started with that. First things first, right here on Main Street, you can see at our police station, we are working on construction, reconstruction actually, uh, because of the fire that we had in the city, specifically this building last week, we needed to uh, basically just call in the construction crew and say, come in here, we need this cleaned up. We got the road uh, kind of just blocked off. We have some new pieces here which needed replaced after the explosions of the criminal crime scene that we had from the jailbreak two weeks ago. There is kind of that mess in the crane is working on putting that up. There's some scaffolding set up there. Uh, yeah, we're just working on reconstruction of the police station. As you can see, this guy's actually trying to fit that sign in there. thought that was kind of a nice little detail. So on Main Street, uh, two nights ago on Thursday night, we got to work on detailing the sidewalk. We got our tile in this week that we ordered from Lego, and this is pretty much as much as we've got right here, Main Street, almost all the way down. We had this area right here with the bookshop and the police station, we had that done, but now we've uh, begun working down the street. So we've almost completed Main Street tiling on the sidewalk there, as you can see. That corner and this corner right here are not done. Right here, as I mentioned the other night, I plan on uh, raising this up maybe four, five, six bricks and having that be like a stairway that goes up in there. And then there being a, like a nice little plaza area here where our uh, citizens can eat because we're going to expand that corner deli just a little bit. We always go around the city counterclockwise, so we're just going to go ahead and do that. Here's our neighborhood. Not much has changed here. I have put some thought into the neighborhood over the past couple of weeks, and I think I'll be able to make a table expansion uh, generally right here, maybe long ways, and we'll be able to extend the neighborhood into right here, and it can kind of weave in and out, add some roads and some buildings in there. That would be very nice. Here's our campground and park. I still have not touched this bathroom. I need to do that. Uh, maybe I'll think about that with a brick link order that I have to do this week. This area right here last week was the Easter setup that we had, the Easter Bunny Carrot House. We had that here, and we took that down, and now you can see that we had emptied this area because a couple weeks ago it was just kind of overgrown. There was some trees in there, uh, and we're going to use this area as like a seasonal, just kind of little uh, area here. And every month, maybe every holiday, we'll change that, and it'll be very nice. As you can see, our trees here, they're still in the spring uh, form here with the flowers and the light green light yellowish green leaves that we have. Um, our pieces came in today. We got the last order for the trees. We had two orders, separate trees, leaves in one and bricks in the other. So we'll begin working on that next week. That's going to be fantastic. Right here on, I don't know, maybe second street, whatever this street is called. I haven't named this long street here. We have the corner garage and you can see there's kind of just a gathering of the speed champ vehicles that we have right now these are just kind of all the muscle cars just exotic cars just the cool cars that we have here in bricksville you can see the farmer's market leaving almost ran over that family honestly that's pretty close there but yeah i kind of packed everything away on this trailer and the tractor has a hitch so he is pulling out of here oh this area right here it's so sad it really is it makes me so sad the least I could do is really get like that fun fair minifig pack. I could do that. That wouldn't be too bad. Maybe I'll do that within the next couple weeks. So here's all of our fire equipment. All the vehicles here sitting outside of the fire station. The chief's vehicle is actually inside. As you can see there. Uh, we have the command unit sitting right there on the other side of the fire station. And there's a meetup with those bikes there. Uh, somebody had mentioned I was originally planning on buying a second one of these sets since they were on sale and uh, kind of duplicating it, mocking it a little bit. But someone mentioned that I should just go ahead and make a break order. So I might do that. I'm really interested in this. I want to actually make this wider because I want to be able to fit the fire command unit inside of my fire station. Honestly, I think that would be very, very cool. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do there. We'll see within the next couple weeks. And then, of course, here's the big one, the Palace Cinema. We finished this week. 
This is our celebratory stream and build and, and modular building uh, for hitting 250 subs. I really, really appreciate all the support getting to 250 subs. This is a great build. I think it's a great way to celebrate. I've enjoyed it the past two times that we've done it. If you guys are interested in picking, helping pick the next modular, uh, just, and we'll hit 500 subs, and that's when we'll do the next modular, then go ahead in the discussion tab on the channel, and there is a poll, a link to a poll there. You need to filter it by newest first, and then take the newest poll. The most recent city expansion that we did in late March, uh, the city is a little bit bigger. Actually, it's quite a bit bigger. And as you can see, we used to be kind of full on vehicles. We didn't really have very much room for vehicles, and I had to hold some off the table. But right here on this corner, I was really excited because it goes diner, palace cinema, and then grand important. So, like, this little area here is very fun for our citizens. We have uh, assembly square, and then the Lego store, the toy store, the cafe, things like that, the toy shop down there, which is really cool. So, this area is packed full of really cool stuff so i tried to jam vehicles in here but i really don't have too many i still think that that is very nice with the retro car and the vintage car sitting in front of the diner i think the color schemes are just perfect i like them waving at each other just so classy to me the taxi cab is obviously sitting outside of the palace cinema right now and then this was the vehicle that we built with the palace cinema that guy's taking taking a picture it's like kind of like a limousine maybe like that guy's a chauffeur I like this vehicle. It's a little bit small and not very tall, so uh, not a whole lot of detail, but I think it looks really good in the city there. Something cool that I think that I will probably do, maybe we'll advertise in city updates sometimes when we come around this corner here, but at Palo Cinema, we'll be able to do maybe like meet and greets. So here's an old Chewbacca that I have in like a brown. I don't even think that's reddish brown, but it looks really good. This is a nice minifig. But yeah, maybe we'll just have like some famous actors and things here uh palace cinema superheroes whatever you know star wars characters just whatever going on here i think this can be just a fun, fun corner for our citizens thank you guys for watching the video if you enjoyed this lego city update go ahead and hit the like button and definitely subscribe if you're not for more content coming real soon i appreciate it guys and i hope to see you on the next one have a good one